Now in this lesson we look at calculating distance. Now firstly though we're going to consider the connection between distance, speed and time. We draw a little triangle, mark it off as such. Now alphabetically D, S and T. Well, which one comes first? Well D does. Put the D up the top, then put the S and the T down below. Now distance. If we're asked to find the distance from our diagram, let's look at the D. Let's cover it up and we're left with S and T. Speed times time. S times T. What about if we're asked for the speed? Well from our diagram there's our S. Cover it up and we're left with D over T, aren't we? Distance over time. If we're asked to find the time there's our T, cover it up, and we're left with D over S. So distance over speed. Well, that's a clever little triangle there, fairly simple. Distance, speed, and time there. But once you draw that triangle, and mark in the, as long as you're marking the D up the top, S and T below, then the formulas there, the three formulas there, are very easy to work with. Now let's look at some examples. We're asked to find the distance travelled if... Firstly, the speed is 16 kilometres an hour and the time is 3 hours. So, a little triangle again. What goes up the top? The, the D, then the S, then the T. We're after, in this question, the distance. So, D equals, cover it up, S, T. So, speed multiplied by the time. So, speed times time, we've got 16 kilometres an hour. That's our speed. The time they're going for is 3 hours, so simply 16 times 3. And that works out to be 48. Now we're dealing with kilometres, so that's why we write the units as kilometres. Our second example, calculate the distance if the speed is 900 kilometres an hour and the time is 50 minutes. Well, kilometres per hour but we're talking about 50 minutes, right? So we make sure that we use the same units. So let's think about 50 minutes for the time being. In terms of hours, it's not even, it's not even a whole hour, is it? All right, 50 minutes is less than one hour. It's 50 minutes out of a total of 60 minutes. So that's the fraction of an hour it is. 50 out of 60. So distance equals speed times time, where the speed is 900 kilometers an hour, and the time is 50 sixtieths of an hour. So 900 times 50 over 60 works out to be 750 kilometres. Terrific. Now third and final example for this lesson. Find the distance travelled if the speed is 15 metres a second and the time is 5 minutes. Well, 15 metres per second. But we're dealing with minutes, five minutes, so we've got to think how many seconds is five minutes? Well, five lots of 60 works out to be 300 seconds. So we write our formula, D equals S times T, where the speed is 15 metres a second and the time is 300 seconds. So 15 times 300, and we work that out, 4,500 metres. And of course, we can write that as 4.5 kilometres. So both answers there are acceptable, they are both the same.